What's up guys, welcome to part three of the ATM tutorial series. In this video, we're gonna add this frame here with the Visa, MasterCard, and American Express pictures along with the time. And we're also gonna work on the menu page. Let's open up our browser. Let's go get these pictures. We're gonna go to flaticon.com. And I want you to search for a Visa. I went with this one, but you can go with a different one if you want. Go ahead and grab it in 24 pixels. Click free download. And then after you download that, I want you to go get the other two images. So you're going to get a MasterCard and an American Express card. Once you're done with that, save those images in the same folder that you have your ATM Python file in. All right, let's open up our Python file and let's pick up where we left off right here under incorrect password. The first thing we're gonna do is create a frame so we can add those images and the time to it. Let's call it the bottom frame. Let's give this frame a border. I don't want it too thick, so I'm just gonna go with three. Let's pack it. And we want this frame to go from left to right. So we're gonna use fill X and we want it to be located in the bottom. Now we can bring in the images that we downloaded and put them on that frame. Let's bring in the visa. Let's start in this variable, visa photo. Include the name of your image, it's a PNG file. Now we're gonna create a label so we can put this picture on that label. Let's call it the Visa label. This label is gonna be on the bottom frame. And we want the face of this label to be the Visa photo. Let's pack this label and we want this picture to be located on the left. So let's include that in there. Let's run this. All right, there's our frame, but our picture is in here. And that's because we need to create a reference. If not, it's not gonna show up. Just type in the name of the label, dot image equals Visa photo. Let's try it again. There's our image. Now let's bring in the MasterCard image. Let's start in this variable MasterCard photo. Create a label for this picture. Let's call it MasterCard label. We want it in the bottom frame. And we want the face of this to be the MasterCard photo. Let's pack this. We want this picture to be on the left and let's create a reference and let's test it there's our image now let's import the American Express Start in this variable, American Express photo. Let's 
create a label for it. We want it in our bottom frame. And we want the face of this label to be the American Express photo. Let's pack it. We also want this on the left. Let's create a reference. And let's test that as well. There's our image. Now let's bring in the time. Let's create a label for the time. Let's call it time label. We also want this in the bottom frame. Let's give it a font. Let's pack it. And I want this one to be on the right. If we run it right now, it's not going to show anything because we haven't gave the time label anything to display. Let's create a function up here. Let's call it tick. This is going to return the time. We're going to need to import time. Go ahead and type this in, import time. We're going to grab the time. We're going to start in this variable, current time. And we're going to use that time that we just imported. We want this time to be returned as a string. We want the time to be returned in 12 hour format. So we're going to use I. If you want to use military time, then you use a H. We're going to separate the hour from our minutes with a semicolon. M for minutes. And if you want to display PM and AM, you use a P. Now that we have the time, we're going to update our label. We're going to use dot config. And in here, we're going to include text equals current time. If we run it like that, the time is going to display, but it's not going to update the time. To update the time, we're going to use a method named after. After takes two parameters. The first one is how often do you want this after method to be called? So basically it's just gonna call the function over and over again. How often do we want the function to be called? We want it to be called every 200 milliseconds and we want it to call this same function. So we want it to call it itself and that's gonna update itself. So if the minute changes, then we're gonna get that update over here and it's gonna display the current time always. But this function is independent, so you're not going to click a button to activate this function. Therefore, we have to call it ourselves here. Tick. Let's test it. All right, there's the time. Now we're going to move on to the menu page. Currently, it doesn't have anything. Let's enter the password, and this is the menu page. Let's look at our blueprint for that. Notice that the header is exactly the same as the one in the start page. So we're just going to copy and paste this code from the start page into the menu page. Before we copy it, let's change the name of the label. Instead of heading label one, let's just change it to heading label. All right, now let's control C to copy. Let's go over to our menu page. And we're going to paste it right here. Control V. Fix this. And let's also give this menu page color. So we're going to use BG right here on TK frame. And we're going to use the same color that we used for this label. So just copy and paste it. Let's look at our blueprint. Okay, we have this now. We're also going to copy and paste the code for the bottom frame. So let's just copy and paste all the way from 
bottom frame down to tick. Control C and Control V. Fix the indentation here. It's going to give you an error if you don't. Let's test it. Password is 123. And this is the mini page. Let's go back to the blueprint. Now let's create this label here. It's just going to say main menu. We're going to create that in here. Let's call it the main menu label. You want it to say main menu. Let's give it a font. Size 13. And we want this text to be in white. Let's also give the label a background color. We're going to use the same one. Copy and paste this one. Let's pack it. All right, let's test it real quick. All right, there it is. Let's go back to the blueprint. Now let's add this label here. Call it selection label. We want it to say, please make a selection. Let's give it a font. Size 13. Let's make the text white. Let's use the same color for the background. And we want the text to be located on the left, so we're going to use anchor west. Let's pack this. And we're going to use fill X on this. Let's try it. All right, there are two labels. That's going to wrap it up for this video. I'll see you guys in part four.